Good morning. It's Monday, November 28th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When Grace Carries Us. Our scripture is Paul's letter to the Roman Church, chapter 5. God's law was given so that all people could see how sinful they were. But as people sinned more and more, God's wonderful grace became more abundant. So, just as sin ruled over all people and brought them to death, now God's wonderful grace rules instead, giving us right standing with God and resulting in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Well then, should we keep on sinning so that God can show us more and more of His wonderful grace? Of course not. Since we have died to sin, how can we continue to live in it? Or have you forgotten that when we were joined with Christ Jesus in baptism, we joined Him in His death? For we died and were buried with Christ by baptism. And just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glorious power of the Father, now we also may live new lives. If nothing else can be said about the grace of God, this can. Grace changes us. The prevenient grace of God draws us to our need of the Father, and understanding it is only through Jesus that can happen. When people find that truth has changed their eternal destiny from death to eternal life, it's a wonderful moment of release and joy. But sadly, too many put a period on what has happened, as if there's nothing more. Past that salvation experience is a whole nother dimension of the change God wants to bring about in us, for us, and through us. It starts, and never stops, with God's sanctifying grace. It's the power of God that changes the way we live. Over the years, in the course of pastoral work, I've met thousands of people. Many of these are former attenders of church. Usually, when they find out I'm a pastor, they ask me what church I serve. And after I tell them, then I ask, where do you go? And the next sentence goes like this. Oh, I'm a member of fill-in-the-blank church. I don't go there anymore, but I believe in Jesus. That... I believe in Jesus is a defensive thing, as if to protect that card-carrying, going-to-heaven thing. They don't want God to revoke their membership, which guards them against hellfire and brimstone. I always have to stifle a little grin when that sentence comes, as if this or any other preacher could change anything about whether they're going to heaven or hell. What's really going on is they're just being defensive about why there's nothing going on in their life about growing as a disciple of Jesus Christ. They trusted Jesus' grace for salvation, but that grace which makes Jesus Lord over their life just didn't fit in the way they wanted to live. This is where the Apostle Paul's issue with the Roman believers comes in. They had believed in Christ, but surrendering all of life to His will was a change they weren't ready to entertain. There were too many parties to attend, fortunes to acquire, and lands to conquer. The grace that forgave was refreshing and welcome, as long as we don't have to change too much. This was the first century version of getting your name on the church roll as something of a get-out-of-jail-free card. Put it in your pocket for that rainy day when the grim reaper comes knocking on your door. You whip out that card and you pass through the pearly gates. Well, how's that working for you? For you today, don't drown in your baptismal waters by refusing to go further. The same grace of God carrying you away from a life of sin is the same grace that will lead you into a life of serving, loving, and joy. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.